And I'm back again with more Christmas stuff beside me. Yeah, this is our Christmas tree this year. It's it's a lot smaller than it usually is. Uh, we yeah, we just decided to do a small tree this year. When I was younger, we would always go out and cut down our own Christmas tree. One year we just cut down a tree in our backyard and used it as a Christmas tree. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the year we were remodeling our house and we were expanding outward and the tree was in our way, so we just cut it down and brought it in here. But yeah, anyway, uh, right now I'm still not working. <laughs> yeah, there just is enough snow. They're calling for more snow next week, so hopefully next weekend I'll be working. They were planning on having a training session this weekend, but they canceled that. Uh, so yeah, still waiting. But I keep thinking about last winter. Uh, that was a big winter. Uh, we got a lot of snow last winter, it, even in town, which usually uh, whenever we get snow, it melts uh, by uh, the afternoon or at most lasts a day or two just because here there isn't a lot of humidity so the moisture doesn't stick around it dries up quickly but last year it was so cold that uh, snow just froze and stuck around for longer I, I even remember talking about it in vlogs. Uh, but this year it's the exact opposite. It, it's barely snowed in town and, and at the ski resort I'm hired at they have a lot less snow than they did uh, at this time last year. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, hopefully when I do start working, I can work uh, until at least March, maybe go into April, but that's pushing it. And as I wait, uh, I've been trying to uh, fill my time was stuff to do uh, you know, like like these vlogs I guess but uh, I've also been trying to read more like read actual books uh, uh, when I was a little kid I would be reading a lot more but now it's it's kind of like a struggle for me to sit down and actually read a book, even for a short amount of time. It's it's kind of hard for me. Uh, but uh, instead of reading, I'll spend hours on the computer. I don't think it's like in. ADD or ADHD thing, although I know that you can be diagnosed with autism and ADHD or ADD, but uh, I think for me it's just like uh, 
I'm more interested in doing something else than reading a book, even though uh, reading a book might be better for me than uh, like watching uh, hours and hours of videos on the internet. Yeah, so I, I've just been like trying to force myself to read uh, at, at least once a day just so that I can work that into my uh, routine uh, or or so it becomes habit for me so so I, I just get used to it and I, I can do it more. One of the things I've been doing a lot lately is uh, reading graphic novels. So they're books with pictures, I guess. And I've also been reading uh, collected issues of comic books. So they'll take a whole bunch of issues of comics and put them together and release them as a graphic novel. And I've just been checking them out from my local library and reading them. Like, like this one. This is Batwoman and uh, it's uh, six issues of this series in, in chronological order so you can read like a whole story arc of a series in a book all, uh, all together so you don't have to track down uh, all the issues. And here's another one. This one, this one's a, a special one. It's it's uh it, it's actually a separate story. Like th this is called Gotham by Gaslight, and it's uh, a story about Batman uh, fighting Jack the Ripper. So it takes place. Like in the 1800s, I think, like whenever Jack the Ripper was alive, and and the this story imagines Batman uh, fighting Jack the Ripper during the 1800s. And yeah, yeah, it's it it's just a short story, but it, it's it's good. I like it, and, and it's it's not uh, connected to uh, any other Batman series, so you, you don't have to read anything uh, before it to understand it. But but uh, also, <laughs> I have this one, this Wonder Woman series. See this. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, I guess 25 issues of Wonder Woman comics, and it's uh, over 600 pages. And uh, then with this one, uh, it, it did take me a while to actually start it, just because of the size of it, I'm like, uh, it's, it's, I guess it just, the size of it is just so intimidating that I, I didn't want to read it, but I heard, uh, such good things about, uh, the guy writing this series, uh, George Perez. Yeah, yeah, I heard such good things about that. I wanted to read it, so I, I just eventually just forced myself to sit down and start reading it. 
And now I'm almost finished. A hundred pages to go about. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, if I can actually start uh, reading a book, I will usually finish it, but it will take me a long time, a lot longer than usual uh, for uh, other people, I guess. So then that, I guess, since it takes me so long to finish a book, then that puts me off or reading another book because I know how long it's going to take me. So, so now I'm like just trying to force myself to read a certain amount of the book each day, like maybe a chapter or two a day or, or read an hour, uh, well, read for an hour uh, uh, in the book. And also with the graphic novels or comic book collections, uh, I can actually finish the whole book in one sitting, because uh, usually a comic book issue is, is a little bit over 20 pages of a book like, like the Batwoman, uh, a book I showed that has six issues which is typical so uh, that's like about 170 pages I guess and and there's also so many pictures in it that uh, it makes it a lot easier to read and I can finish uh, a whole book like that in less than an hour and a half. So yeah, that actually m makes it feel like I accomplished something in uh, a good amount of time and it didn't take me forever. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> And now, now I'm actually trying to uh, read other books that aren't graphic novels, <laughs> that don't have pictures. Actually making time for it, that's another thing, because I'll, I'll just get like sucked in to my computer and then I, I won't have time to read, so I actually have to get off the computer and and make time to read. So yeah, I've been trying to read more for a while now and uh, I feel like I'm now actually accomplishing that. So yeah, I, I just gotta keep it up. And as long as I uh, am not working, I have a lot of time to do it uh, and that's going to be it for this vlog so until next video goodbye <laughs>